Welcome to another video from the CTAD clinic. My name is Dr Mike Lloyd and I'm the clinic director. Today we're going to be doing the second in a series of the impact of complex trauma. Hopefully you've seen the first one, I would encourage you to go and have a look at that um, as well as watching this one. Neither of these are videos about how to overcome the impact of complex trauma nor are they about the diagnostic categories. They're simply about the clinical experience that we see in the therapy room about some of the ways that we see complex trauma having impacted on a person. So what we're talking with complex trauma is childhood events, so things that have gone on in childhood that left a person feeling traumatised as an adult. So one of the ways that I wanted to describe this is by looking at the sentence or phrase that is given time and time again in therapy, that is, I am a bad person that a person that's come from a complex trauma background and has been left with a central or core belief that they are in essence bad, right at the heart of their being. There's often no evidence for this, so they've not got criminal records, so they're generally very good, decent, wonderful people that are doing the best in life that they possibly can do and are trying very hard. They will often be rescuers, there will be people that will try and help other people at great cost to themselves. They will be the people that will not put the oxygen mask on first if there was an event on a plane that they would always put it on the people around them and they would be the last person to put that mask on, again, against their own personal safety. So we're talking about good people, decent people that are, for some reason, considering themselves as being bad people, that they don't believe they deserve anything good, that they cannot accept compliments, that they don't see pride in their achievements, and that they are left with this sense of being worthless, without value, without importance and not deserving of anything good in their lives. They often go from bad relationship to bad relationship and often blame themselves for everything that simply goes wrong and cannot make sense of why the life around them seems to fail so badly, so many times and they take it on themselves with all that responsibility to say the reason this is happening is because of me. And in therapy we say actually that's not the case, it's because of the things that have happened to you and the impact of those traumas that have led you to a path of believing that you're a bad person. So you tend to go, so these people tend to veer away from good things happening to them and focus on all the negativity in their lives. This is very common, there are many things that can be done to help that person but the the most important thing is that they have an understanding that the phrase I'm a bad person is given to them by the trauma. Sometimes actually verbally, so people that have hurt them as children will be saying to them I'm doing this to you because you're bad or they're convincing them that they're bad so that they won't tell anybody else what's going on. Or they just use the word bad a lot. Terrible, evil, awful. These are words that are used time and time again against people who are being hurt. As an example, one of the things that I will say to people is you imagine you're in a room of 100 people, all of whom have had the same sort of horrible start to life, awful childhood events, and you're in that room with them. How many of those people in the room deserved what happened to them as children? The person always answers, well, none of them do. And I say to them, did you deserve it? And they say, yes, I did. And then I say, well, how many of these other people in the room are bad because of what's happened to them? And they say, none of them are bad. They didn't help it, it wasn't their fault. And I say to them, well, are you a bad person then? And they say, yeah, I'm the bad person. And if I asked a hundred of those people the same questions, they all give the same answers. So I end up in a room of a hundred people traumatized who are all considering themselves to be the only bad person in the room. And yet everyone else in the room is fair enough. They're okay. They're decent. They're good people. The irony is not lost on us as therapists and we try and help people understand that this is a perspective that has been given to them, that they are traumatised people, not bad people. So this is a very, very difficult thing because what we're talking about is a belief within the person that they are bad. It's not based on any evidence, there will be rarely any evidence that they've even done anything wrong ever, other than just being very unlucky in life, in circumstances, in job, in relationships, but they're not bad people. So we have to try and help them see that. And that, uh, that's a problem for therapy and it's a problem for people going throughout their lives, but it is possible to turn that around. 
So there is a hopeful message in this, but I think being able to talk it through and hold on to that shame and being able to release it with supported, with trusted people who, when they say to you, you're not a bad person, you're the most wonderful person that they know, that you try and believe that other than I am a bad person. And it's a difficult journey to take. I hope this has been helpful. I'll continue the series on complex trauma with the next video coming up. So please do like and subscribe if you'd like to access that content and being able to see these things as they drop on YouTube. Hopefully you can, and I hope that this is worthwhile for you. Uh, in the meantime, please do take great care.